Two years ago, uh, I went and visited Thomas More and I posted a video about the campus. I still get questions and people still ask me, they're like, who are you there? The topic of today is surely why did I choose AM Lyon over Thomas More? I thought of being a fashion designer, I thought of doing art, interior design, I thought of doing journalism. Actually, journalism was like my last solution, but my mom is like, mm, maybe it's not a safe journey. So I'm like, well, if I do journalism, I'm going to be able to combine like all of those into one thing. But also, I had been doing business, like studying business in school for many years, and everybody knows business is the safest path ever. Then I did one year in business management, but I was like, what am I doing here? So I take this gap here, figure out what I want. At the same time, I had always dreamt of going to Thomas More. So Thomas More is a Belgian university. They teach both in Dutch and also in, in English. And it's in the Flemish part of Belgium. It's really nice. They have a lot of international students. I've seen they have journalism. They have this amazing course of a combination of like photography and business which was like oh you sold me there I was interested in the communication uh, part of it and the campus at Thomas More it's really beautiful they have a piano bro they have a piano Thomas More for is for you if you are a creative person and you just want to be surrounded by like beautiful minds that's the right place and on the other hand we have him Leon in Lyon is a French business school and they have programs in French and in English and I'm in the English one. I'm currently doing a global BBA. It's a bachelor in business administration. So it's it has really everything. It has like from finance, accounting. Surprisingly, I don't hate the experience. I thought I would be like, ugh another year of business but not really there was this course that I like it's called prototype it's just amazing so if I would have to compare the two universities business still offers a good part like you might be an artist and if you don't know how to sell if you don't know how to be persuasive if you don't know how to to pitch out your idea it's really going to get lost even if you're like the best of the best of the artists with the best ideas and the best mind ever you can't really talk about like the two campuses like in a very specific way because i've only been at thomas more just like one day only the open day but i just spent a year at em lyon and i think i can tell you more about there if you like france if you like the whole vibe culture part of france and lyon it's amazing. The reason to why I chose EM Leo is because I still couldn't get in Thomas More. I actually missed the deadline and at this point I had made up my mind. I'm like, well, if it's business, it's business, let's go. <laughs> they actually asked me this. To us, you seem like this artistic person. Well, what are you what really made you choose like business? I'm like, well, life. <laughs> I don't regret my choice. I don't regret living in the city. It's really nice. It's really beautiful. I, I got to audition as a, an ambassador for the school, but this is this has nothing related. I'm really just clarifying why I'm not at so much more. One thing I'm gonna tell you: don't be mad. Don't be pissed off that something is not happening or that you're not getting the dream university that you wanted. Because, yo, I was really sad that, oh my god, I didn't get in Thomas More. So don't worry, like, if you don't get something, there is a reason. But you'll always get something much better. So, if you feel like you're stuck, I know it hurts, I know it's, ugh, it's annoying. But hold on, just, it's like a preparation, it's like God is preparing you for something better, so don't... Don't feel forgotten because he never forgets you. Okay? I get in my first year. It's been like at this point it's been like forever. Okay, not like forever, but it's been like several months since I've been in school. 
So, and then, boom. Guess what I start with? Accounting. Of all the courses, accounting. I was like, hello. Anyway, so my advice is, know your revision techniques. Know what works for you, because you don't want to do any rattrapage, retakes, retake exams. You don't want to do that. It's so stressful. It's like you're risking so much. Best thing to do, just revise it when it's time. Revise after after each class, which I have to do. I've been telling myself I'm gonna do that. I've been actually revising with ChatGPT. It's really uh, shocking. I just like pulled like the notes in ChatGPT and I'm like, bro, explain this to me. And also like make notes, ask yourself questions, see if you can answer them, see if you can like explain them to somebody else. Just find what works for you. And then there's this YouTuber this guy that went to, to Cambridge University, he went into um, medicine. He does a lot of content about like how to revise, how to pass your year, why he teaches, what he recommends really works. So what to expect in your first year? In your first year, I would advise you first to make friends. It's always helpful to have people that can help you, that can tell you something. I don't know, you, you just need friends, you cannot survive alone. I know it's hard for some people who are a little bit shy, but at least have one or two friends, it's really going to change your life. And also be kind, be helpful, like you never know, just help somebody who needs something. I mean, don't be a people pleaser, but also don't be so self-centered try to help because sometime, some someday, one day, or multiple times, <laughs> you're going to need help too. Uh, with like work, with anything, you never know. And also develop something personally. Do something outside of outside school so that you don't feel like all you do is wake up and study. And really, I know there's this whole thing, I don't know if it's me or there's this whole thing, oh it's time for uni, let's go party, let's go... I'm sorry, grow up. Not like genuinely grow up. I, I feel like it's the time you're supposed to, I, I mean, I don't mean like be so strict or live like, like... I don't know. I know. I know. Either it's like this tendency. Your parents are not watching you anymore. Like you want to do whatever you want. But child, honestly, they want the best for you. So try not to go astray. Try not to be the black sheep. Okay. Just do something useful for your life. Because whatever you're gonna do right now, it's going to impact you in years later. You don't want to be the guy that goes to drink. You want to be the girl that is like always like in nightclubs. You don't want It's the time to build something useful in your life. Go do projects, make friends, uh, surround yourself with smart people, start businesses, start associations, start... Do something productive. That's what I'm gonna say. And also give with people that like revise with people that help you actually you not know, people that make you feel like you're dumb or people that make you feel I don't know just feel the vibe and revise with people and also ask questions you always I'm not trying to say like be the center of everything but you don't want to blend in the background either just find somewhere, according to your personality, find somewhere, somewhere in between and ask questions, participate in class, answer, uh, volunteer, go for whatever that is there. If it's like class delegate, if it's something, yeah, just go for it. Anyway, I hope this video helped you so much. Um, good luck with everything, I hope, in September, um, you're gonna find a nice school and I hope this video was helpful, honestly. Uh, if you want more school related content, let me know. Leave a comment below and a like and subscribe for more content including music, poetry and other things that I'm working on. 
Bye. Thank you so much. God bless you.